Now, Alexandra Raghi is a former member of FIFA's Independent Governance Committee, which was set up to make the organization more transparent. She resigned last year after FIFA failed to adopt many of her proposals. She joins us now from Baltimore. Um, Alexandra Raghi, how significant do you think these revelations are? Well, I think they're stunning. I, I really think they're very surprising. I think there's been a lot of suspicion about the process and how we got to the Qatar decision ultimately. But this level of documentation uh, and, and evidence, if it is all shown to be authentic, is, is stunning. But we don't know, of course, and it's yet to be established, whether there's any connection between what Mr. Bin Hammam seems to have been doing and what the government of Qatar wanted. We have to accept that, don't right. we? Sure, sure, that's true, and that's an important step in all of this, but a bribe uh, is transactional. It's between two different parties. So regardless of who Bin Hammam was working for, if all of these allegations proved to be true, somebody was on the receiving side of this, and that's, th those, those people are very senior in the FIFA establishment. Now, you know this organization. Why is it so ghastly? <laughs> it's, a, it's a surprising organization in many ways, but when you have an enormous and very wealthy nonprofit like this, you don't have the shareholders to keep it honest as you might in a corporation. So you've really got three options. You can have governance from within, and we didn't have much luck with that, frankly. Or you can have oversight by the host country, and Switzerland hasn't shown any appetite for that. And then you can come at it through the sponsors, and for reasons that I think people don't fully understand, the sponsors have seemed pretty indifferent to these issues. So the Swiss should be keeping an eye on FIFA, should they? Well, it's, they're the host country, and, and organizations within Switzerland are governed by Swiss law, so absolutely, that would be the obvious choice. How could it be changed then? Uh, well, again, if the Swiss government weighs in and, and starts paying sort of more attention to the Swiss law as it applies to its own nonprofits, or if there's a groundswell, and this is, this is an international uh, sport with huge interest, a groundswell that, uh, that, that reaches out to the sponsors, I think we could see change there. I just don't think we should wait for, for FIFA to reform itself. You didn't wait. You voted with your feet, didn't you? You resigned. Why? I did. I did. I, it, it, was, it was not a very fruitful undertaking, I have to say. I was very enthusiastic at the outset. I thought it was a, a process that was uh, both intriguing and very welcome uh, by FIFA. Very few organizations set out to, to establish a group like ours uh, and then reject their recommendations. And although some of the recommendations were ultimately accepted, many were rejected. And it, it just wasn't a good, good use of time in the end. There are organizations that are sincere in their reform efforts. So uh, let's be clear about this. Uh, FIFA set you up as an organization to keep them honest. And when they didn't like some of the things you said, you had to quit. Well, it, uh, it, it was a surprising conclusion to the process for me as well. We, we drafted a large number of recommendations, many of them very ordinary good governance recommendations. And many were, were rejected outright. They cherry picked through and, and, and took several, but most were rejected. Well, as far as the Qatar World Cup 2022 bid is concerned now, what ought to happen? Well, what ought to happen and what will happen are, are probably different things. What ought to happen is to restore international confidence in the process. I do think they need to rerun the vote. I don't think there's any avoiding that now if, if the ultimate goal is the confidence of the public. We have uh, a series of scandals, and I'm just not sure how much longer the stakeholders are expected to accept scandal after scandal, and uh, the, it needs to come to an end. Whether that will happen, of course, is a different question. Alexandra Raghi, thanks for joining us. Thank you.